Hello everybody, this is a structure of a skin, but not just the ordinary skin, but we have taken a portion of a skin on the scalp. This is scalp skin and we have just blown it out. So this is literally what it looks like. But there's so many people that have been asking questions or have been using Feso for so long and I do not have the results that I want. And I think maybe if I could just explain a bit, this would give you a better understanding why probably you need to wait and hang in a little bit more here this is the skin now um on this is the part that you see and this is the inside so once you have had traction alopecia probably you've been damaged by pulling your hair that's traction alopecia and then maybe it's a relaxer that went bad this is what happens to your skin it becomes a glabora skin which means it's a hairless skin so that skin that does have pores so your sweat gland still comes out but and sweat comes out but no hair that will come out so it's a glabora skin and that's what happens so when you now start using feso feso comes in to the skin and starts healing the skin so that it moves from hairless skin to hair bearing skin so you find that it takes time now. It depends whether how old you are, how healthy you are, the nutrients that you're taking in your food. Um, that would help the skin to heal faster. Because for as long as your skin is not healed from this position to that position, you find that your hair is slower. And you find there are other people that say, oh, my skin, uh, I've got... Uh, results in three weeks and some people say I only started seeing results after six months this is the difference it depends on how damaged your skin was and how long you have stayed with this so it almost cements itself like cement before it actually opens up to this and then the other issue is that you find once your skin has been healed it's now skin bearing but you find that the pores are still small like this one so you find that the hair that comes out of here is very very small and it's tiny like this so most people would see the tiny little hair coming out here and they think oh my god it's not working it's sparse but definitely the reason why we say you must take a picture is so that you will be able to see these minute little hairs that comes out and after a while the more you put in face the more this enlarges for it to come to this level and then your hair starts thickening and in most cases the more you put in from here the more you put in the more more than just a one hair shaft it comes out so eventually you end up maybe having two three or more hair shafts so you need to be patient for your skin to move from hairless skin to hair bearing skin.